Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Welcome to another edition of the 49ers Roster Countdown. We have number 49, uh, <laughs> 1 through 90, or I guess 90 through 1. Defensive tackle, new addition, Hassan Ridgeway. Going to be wearing jersey number 98, and he came into the league as a tweener, defensive tackle, defensive end. He was 6'3", 305, and he ballooned. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, he was a basketball convert player um, from Mansfield, Texas, you know, just, you know, south of Dallas-Fort Worth. And, you know, he was a ball player. He didn't start playing football till his sophomore year in high school, and it was very evident right off the bat. I actually coached against this kid um, a few years. We were in the same district as them uh, whenever I was coaching for Duncanville, and Man, he popped off the tape. You know, he was a defensive end back then in high school and was just, he was huge, but you could tell it's what he could be. Um, and so it took him a while to kind of settle in his role into his body and role. You know, 6'3", 305, this is his seventh season. My guess is, you know, they don't re-weigh players and make that public. They usually stay with their combine weight. My guess is he's much closer to 325, 330 now. His frame is just gigantic. Shoulders, body, everything. I mean, he was built to be able to add this weight on there. So he's 27 years old, entering into his seventh season. Um, you know, went to the University of Texas, majored in applied learning and development, and minored in social work. This dude's got a freaking heart on him. Um, you know, just really, really cares about people and education and things like that. Went to Texas. Uh, hook him, baby. And... You know, I'll say this. Whenever you get these guys, again, another uh, Big 12 all honor roll guy, uh, you know, uh, commissioner's honor roll in 2014. Like, the dude is smart, intelligent, and seems to have a very, very caring heart on him. So, if you look at what he did, some of the honors, you know, he was an all-state player in high school, played in the 2012 U.S. Army All-American Bowl, moved from D defensive end to defensive tackle in the 2013 season and you know kind of his issues in the nfl he's had a lot of injuries uh there's no doubt about that like he was drafted you know i think he was drafted in the fourth round by the colts number 116 overall and it just kind of learn really quick he's a role guy and that's not an insult you know he some people are role guys they have a defined thing that they do well and they don't really do much outside of that and that's kind of who Hussan Ridgeway is he is a run stuffer a penetrating run stuffer always plays on the opposing you know offensive line side of the ball which has a value in the NFL and I'm excited to have him because this is something the 49ers have missed big time you know think about Kentavious Street number 95 he's taken his job and when the Bravo group, the backup defensive line group, would step in, things would get bad because the defensive tackles would get pushed back into the face of the linebackers. And that's when Fred Warner struggled is because he was dodging guys. So um, if, here for this one, you know, I did two Patreon video breakdowns. And I'm going to throw – if you're watching on YouTube, you can kind of watch this film. I'm putting it up in the square there. Um, now, if you're one of the people that's like, man, why isn't the screen the whole entire screen? I want to see more of this. Uh, again, this is just a little added extra thing. I have two full breakdowns of his game up on Patreon. So if you want to go watch those two full breakdowns, uh, just Google 49ers Patreon. We're the first channel that shows up or go to patreon.com slash 49ers Rush Podcast. And as soon as you join, you get access to over 200 breakdowns, including two uh, that I just recently put up. Just put one up today over there on Hassan Ridgeway. And again, this is game film. And kind of what you see with his play, it's not highlights. He's not a highlight guy, but he's somebody that occupies offensive linemen and is always on the correct side of the line. So um, always moving forward, never retreating. Now, if we look at his athletic profile, he ran the it's, – it's, it's pretty funny. You know, you look at his spider graph. He's either really good or really bad at everything. <laughs> uh, his 40-yard dash was a 5.02, which is in the top 66%, so that's good. Bench press, uh, you had 24 reps. That's average. Three cone. He had one of the worst three cones in the history of the combine, 8.28. And again, this is he's not a pass rusher. That's not he's not he doesn't have any bend. He doesn't have hip flexibility. That's not what he is. He is a power. 
He is a bulldozer that moves forward no matter who's in front of him. He's not swim moving. He's <laughs> he's not doing DE stunts and all that stuff. No, no, no. This is a first, second down run stuffer that you can rely on consistently. That's the thing about him. His tape, if you're watching this, consistent. Um, his vertical, he jumped 32 inches, which is the top 80%. His broad jump, which was 113, was the top 90%. So all of his strengths in the lower body, and he doesn't have shiftiness. It's just power. That, that's what he brings. He's a baller, right? So he's been jumping his whole life. Now, his athletic profile, the closest match was Javon Hargrave, who he was backing up for the Eagles. And so like, again, he doesn't have the twitch that Javon Hargrave has, but very similar, powerful, big body. Um, and it, you know, again, teams have a type, right? So <laughs> the fact that he was backing up the player that he was the closest comp with, I think tells a story. Um, now you look at his contract it's 1.8 million. They brought him in on a one year, 1.8. He can make up to 2.5 million. He's 27 years old, fourth rounder, now, let's go through his NFL career because this is his seventh season. He was drafted number 116 overall in the fourth round by the Colts in 2016. And it didn't take much to kind of figure out what he, what he was for. You know, played in 16 games his rookie year, five starts. You know, two tackles for loss, one and a half sacks. Like, played 40% of the snaps, right? Second year, 13 games, five starts. Played 16% of the snaps, had an injury. Next game, next year, 2018, five games, one start, 6% of the snaps, got injured. Then he gets traded for a seventh-round pick, right? So didn't look great going from the Colts to Philly. Well, he fulfilled a role for Philly that they really liked. They kept bringing him back on one-year deals, 24% of the snaps in 2019, 12% of the snaps in 2020, he got injured again. And in 2021, 33% of the snaps played in every game. That's who he is. Uh, like he is a backup 20% play snap. That's what he's going to continue to do. Um, you know, he's a one year player. That's just a mercenary. That's going to bounce around for teams that want depth and value offensive line. Look at the three teams he's played for Colts, huge amount of capital draft. I mean, shoot, they traded for, you know, DeForest Buckner. It's the same staff there. They value defensive line. Philadelphia Eagles, guess what? I would argue with the 49ers, maybe one of the deepest defensive line groups in the NFL. Then he goes to the 49ers, one of the deepest defensive line groups in the NFL. So for teams that put a value on defensive line depth, this guy's going to have a job. And I think he's going to be around for a while. And I think he's going to make this roster because, one, the amount of money that they gave him, he does his job well. So 12 career starts, 65 games played, and if you just compile his stats, one of my favorite things about him, two blocked point uh, after a, a attempt touchdown. So, you know, he blocked two field goals. That's huge. Um, you know, he's got 13 career tackle for loss, nine and a half sacks, 19 quarterback hits, 43 pressures. And again, all of his pressures, if you're watching this, we're seeing one right now. His pressures are, I'm just bulldozing, man. <laughs> I'm just running you into the quarterback. That's what he is. And he's going to be on the Bravo group, the backup defensive line group, going to replace number 95, which I'm super excited about. And, you know, he's a three tech that can play in the A-gap if you want to. So if you're looking at kind of what he can do, listen to these, these breakdown and snaps. 252 snaps as a three tech 86 snaps in the A gap and 57 lined up over the tackle. So he's a three tech guy, and that's kind of where he's going to be. Now, what does it look like? Is he making the roster? Yes, I think that he is. Uh, just because the amount of money that he got, it would almost be a complete wash if the 49ers did cut him. Um, not going to be a practice squad guy, seventh year. Like there is a space in the NFL for this guy. Um, now I'm taking the film down as we conclude this video. And if you want to go watch those again, just head over to Patreon. That's where everything is. Um, you can watch both those. Now he's going to be a, a, a key role. You're not going to probably even know his name. You're not going to notice he's out there except for the fact when you see him, number 98, he's in the offensive backfield. That's his job. He'll come in for two snaps and then on third down, he'll come out. 
and on long drives in the second and fourth quarter, that's when you will see him. But he will play a role. He's been taking mostly the second team snaps, um, you know, uh, in camp, which, again, that tells you a lot. That Maurice Hurst, you know, he's getting snaps ahead of him. Kevin Givens is getting snaps ahead of him. They are much more three-down linemen. This guy is just a role. He plays a role. And that's what he's going to continue to do. I'm excited to have him. I think that this is one of the small kind of detail signings that paints a picture of this 49ers team. Depth. Depth at one of the most key positions, defensive line. You're not running on this Bravo group like you used to. And that's why I like this signing. Um, so, Hassan Ridgeway, welcome to the 49ers. Excited to have him. Excited to watch him. And he's going to help those linebackers be much better players um, on those long extended drives. Hopefully, they don't get too many long extended drives against us. But that's where it is. So I want to say thank you to Josh and Anthony, executive producers of this series. Man, we're just going to keep counting them down.